what's going on y'all welcome back to another video it is your boy fat cat of course bringing you another one man first i want to say i apologize let me make sure i turn on the radio and everything so no one's come back on anyway man first i want to say i apologize for not posting a video in a while man it's been a couple days um man i've been not an excuse but the reason is i've been under the weather um last week i was under the weather man um, the last video that I posted, you can see that my voice was was uh, starting to go kind of kind of down a little bit, or, or starting to go away. And then, like, I actually completely lost my voice. So I could not talk at all. You can see, still not completely all the way back yet. Um, but I am getting better. Um, but you know, so I'm not as bad as I used to be. But I am still under the weather a little bit. Anyway, but with that, man. Like I said, so last week, man, I was just I was just under the weather completely. Um, I think I only went to work like one and a half days last week i mean it was it was horrible anyway but i'm back enough of that i'm back um like i said i'm not 100 percent yet but you know i need to go to make sure i put out this content for you guys man and let you guys know what's going on with christine and, and, and keep moving man so at the end of the day you know the world don't care if you're if you're sick tired or whatever man as long as you're not dead you know the world don't care and it's gonna move on by you man if you just keep laying down so at the end of the day i need to get my ass up <clears throat> losing voice and all and, and just you know and, and put this stuff out there man. anyway other than that man what we're gonna do today man i gotta go get my haircut man because i've had a haircut i couldn't i couldn't even do that last week go get a haircut real quick uh and then from there man i gotta go check care of something for my my my, my kids school actually the transportation office uh bus driver's been acting kind of crazy lately kind of targeting my kids and whatnot so me as a father of course i gotta go make sure i take care of that nigga the bud um and i did talk to him a couple of times over the, phone, over the phone you know i'm talking about like the let me get through here my bad so anyway so yeah man so i did talk to like the managers and all that over the phone but the bus driver still seems to be acting crazy as early as this morning so now they gotta go see my pretty face at the end of the day Exactly what happens, man. I talk to you over the phone. I give you a chance to to, uh, to take care of it, and if you don't, now you ain't gotta deal with me in person. Simple as that. So, anyway, man. Other than that, we go take care of those things, and then we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more about what we got planned for Christine, man. Let's go. And there we go, man. So we are back home, man. I couldn't film while I was out there because, like I told you, I haven't filmed in a while, so I'm making rookie mistakes. I mean, I'm still a rookie anyway, but I'm definitely making rookie mistakes now. And uh, I forgot my my actual uh, bag that I use to, uh, you know what I'm saying, to when I go out on the road or whatever, my little camera bag, which had my extra battery. So my battery died, um, or it was dying anyway, and I didn't have another battery. So rookie mistake as, as, as usual, um, and stupid me, man. But anyway, so we're back home now. Uh, so let me go and talk to you about what I'm gonna do with Christine, man. So the next few miles I'm gonna do, well, you guys let me know, man. Like I said, so this is not just my build i think this is our build together and i take all of you guys suggestions um, i mean ultimately obviously it's up to me but i do take your suggestions man and i see you know uh, uh what i think might make sense what may not make sense or whatever but i take into consideration man so i think the next thing i'm going to do man so i was thinking i was like man should i just go ahead and just start doing uh uh performance modifications or should i just continue finishing the outside and then after that i do the performance but i will tell you this man you guys know man we are in well, we're in spring right now. We're getting ready to head to summer, and especially down here in Florida, man, we have you know it's it's literally car show and car meet season, man. I mean, it's all over the place. I mean, there's usually three or four different events going on every single weekend. Can't make all of them, but at the end of the day, man, because I am going to more now, or especially taking Christine, I want to make sure that she's at least looking decent enough to be able to go into these car shows or meets or anything else. So with that, I think I need to do some engine stuff, man. Like, especially like some engine, like dress up or engine, you know, something that's gonna make it look better, like intakes and all that. Basically just have all of the, uh, the, uh, you know, just basically get some stuff in the motor, man, that's gonna make it look stand out. So that way I could go ahead and pop the, <laughs> pop the, the hood and at least there'll be something to see in there, man. Because right now, my wife just got home, by the way. I say hello to my wife. It's dirty again, man. I gotta clean that one out this weekend. But anyway, but uh, you know what I'm saying? But there's um um you know 
I'm usually the only one that leaves my hood now. Like with the group of people that sometimes that I roll with that's around here locally, um, you know, they put their hoods up or whatever this and that. And mine always stays down because I don't got nothing to show. <laughs> so, you know, I want to go ahead and put something in there, man. So that way I can, you know, at least pop the hood and at least show something, man. Whether it's, you know, the intake or if it's the uh, catch can or something, man. So you guys let me know, right? I think that'd be my next one. Remember, at 3,800 subscribers, will be my next mod. I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but I think I might go in that route, in that direction. From there, I think I'm going to end up uh, finishing the outside, right? So I got a few more pieces I need to do. Not much, right? I think she's pretty much almost there. Just got a few more things to do, kind of major pieces. I just got a few, you know, small, uh, well, a few things to do. And then we'll pretty much be done with the outside and then from there will be all performance. But you guys let me know, man. Let me know what you guys think. What, which route should I take? I, and I think that'll be it. So again, I think I want to do, you know, the small little things here right now inside the motor. The, the, the engine bay, I should say. Not necessarily the motor, but engine bay. So that way I could have something to show off when I go to these different uh, meets and all that stuff right now. Just for now. From there, finish off the rest of the uh, stuff on the outside. Like I said, there's a few. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it's going to be. But I think I got a few, you know, I just got a few more pieces that I need to add to her, Christine, on the outside. And then from there, it's going to be straight performance, man. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. I'm going to show you guys one other thing, man. I'm going to show you, I know everybody's been, a lot of people have been asking me, you know, what do I do to clean my, my car? Or what do I use? The products that I use, what I use for the tire shine, things like that, man. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys uh, uh, my little, you know, my little shelf area. And show you guys what I use, man. Let's go. All right, guys, so excuse the mess that we got going on right here so far. So you guys can see, man, so obviously this is uh, my vacuum here. So this is the vacuum that I use in order to vacuum the cars and everything else. Excuse Layla over there. Anyway, but uh, so let's start from the beginning, man. So that car wash, I do not use. That I've had that there forever. I need to go ahead and throw that out. But this is the car wash that I use right now. Meguiar's Gold Class. You see, I got another one already over there already waiting. All right. This is the car wash that I use. Um, I did, now I did just get some links, right, from uh, uh, somebody who does professional detailing. And he got, he he sent me a, a link where it has like, it's a shampoo, a car shampoo that uh, has some clear coat in it. Not clear coat, some uh, ceramic coat in it. So I might go ahead and order that and try that out. But as for right now, as far as over the shelf stuff, this is what I use, man, Meguiar's Gold Class. These rags are here for all of these are my, I only use these rags for my wheels. Um, so whenever I finish cleaning the car and, and drying them and everything else, and whenever I just need to wipe off the wheels, basically it's the last thing that I do. When I wipe, wipe down the wheels themselves, then I use these rags. These are, <laughs> I know this is like probably the number one question that I get, man. What kind of tire shine do you use? Well, there you go. I don't use one particular tire shine, man. I use pretty much all these things. I, I don't use this. I definitely don't use this anymore. This is garbage, man. I don't use this at all. I'm gonna throw this away right now. Do not use this. Anything that says foam, don't use, man. I hate the foam stuff. Anyway, so my number one thing that I use is this. So this right here with the applicator is what I do, is what I use. This is, the, this is probably the best stuff that I've ever seen. It's, I mean, you know, this is off the shelf that I'm talking about, obviously. So, I mean, I'm sure there's other stuff out there, just, like industrial stuff or whatever, but I'm talking about strictly off the shelf, you know, regular old dude, go to AutoZone, go to, uh, you know, discount auto parts and, you know, just buy your buy the stuff that you need. And that's it. So this is what I use, man. That's probably the number one thing that I use. And like I said, with the applicators right there, I also picked this up. I just started using this recently. This is actually really good as well. Um, if you don't want to do like, you know, get your hands all, because your hands will get messy with this, man. So this right here, you know, your hands won't get too, too greasy or messy, and you can use that. This is the other thing that I use as well. Um, I use this when I'm being, probably being a little bit more lazy than, than normal. Um, and, and I especially take this one whenever I go to, uh, you know, like the meats or whatever. I'll take this. This probably gets like the, the wettest, wettest look, and I don't necessarily like like wipe it off with the applicator. You know, this probably gives the wettest, wettest look, but this is the stuff that's gonna fling more. So these right here don't fling as much, these two, but this right here does fling on your car, so after you get out, after that first initial drive, you are gonna have to, you know, uh, uh, wipe down your car or whatever else, man, because this stuff gets everywhere. So, there you go. That's what I use for tire shine. Moving along, 
So up here, so these are all my rags that I use for uh, after I wax the car or anything else. Um, this is what I use to uh, to basically take it out, you know, take off the, the wax and everything else, polish it up. So these are the waxes that I do use. And you gotta, I mean, I rarely use this stuff, but this is the, uh, you know, obviously the quick wax stuff. This is what I use to actually wax my car. So here you go, Carnuba, uh, uh, you know, Deep Crystal Carnuba Wax. So this is the stuff that I use mainly. This and like a cleaner wax or whatever. But this stuff is really good. Then you have another Ultimate Detailer. All right. And remember guys, like I said, this is all stuff that you could get from AutoZone, Discount Auto Parts. Like I said, none of this stuff is stuff that I order like offline. This stuff that I literally just go up the street and just get. Like I said, you can probably get other stuff, you know, from industrial wide stuff or whatever, some special stuff or whatever. This is just stuff that literally everyday Joe could go pick up. You don't gotta worry about special ordering anything or anything like that. This stuff right here, man, I don't know if you guys have seen this online. Uh, people have been talking about this lately. This is kind of a new product that McGuire's uh, has. And you see it has ceramic wax in, uh, hybrid in it, basically. Uh, ceramic wax is basically infused in it. Hey, I would tell you, man, for this thing, for what it's worth, for what it is, it literally does a really good job, man. Like, you don't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Obviously, it's not going to be the best stuff or whatever if you get actual ceramic coating and things like that. But this right here, man, for the price is the truth. I'm telling you right now, if you could go, and I will tell you this, I didn't find this in my local autos on here. I found this in, only at the discount auto parts. But this stuff right here works wonders, man, especially for basically the, the, the cheap, you know, the cheap guys uh, ceramic wax, man. This, this stuff right here works really good for, for, the, for the price and everything else that it is. Other than that, man, what you got? I got an interior detailer, you know, I make sure I keep that rag on there so I know I don't get that confused. I have leather conditioner. You know, this is, I haven't used this on, on Christine yet, but I have used this on, you know, my wife's car and, you know, other cars that I've had in my BMW, you know, other good stuff that have full leather. You know, I use that. Other than that, man, that's it. There goes my, my orbiter that I use. This is what I use to drive my car. Somebody asked me what I use to drive my car. So I use the absorbers, right? Because this one is a little bit better, the package. So I don't use like a chamois or I don't use a towel. I use the absorber like this. This over here for me works the best. Obviously, you could use the squeegee as well, but this is what I use, right? And I've seen a lot of people are starting to use like the blow, the uh, like the leaf blowers as well. I guess that'll work well too, man. The leaf blowers will blow right the uh, all the water right off your car. But this is what I use currently. Uh, I might switch that up eventually. And I have three different ones, if you can tell, man. So this is the one I use for the car. This is the ones I use for like, you know, like the inside, like inside of the car and the door jams and things like that. Um, I use that one. And then this is what I use. This one is the one I use to, uh, to drive my wheels. All right. So there you go. So I use three different ones for that. Uh, like I said, you got the orbiter. You got all my rags. And I always keep new rags, man. Look at that. Brand new rags ready to go. You know, I always keep, you know, new rags, clean rags. Look at my. This one's electric. This is electric car and this one's gas powered. So I got my little toys up there. Haven't used those in a while, man. And let me see what else we got. Uh, oh, I will say, man, one, I forgot to mention, man, one of the big things, the reason why that people, you know, get a lot of flinging and all that stuff with their, with their tires or with their, you know, with their uh, 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 tire shine, you wanna make sure your tires are dry, man. If you put tire shine on top of wet tires, it doesn't, to me anyway, this is me personally. I don't think it lets the uh, the tire shine pretty much bond to the, you know, to the rubber. So basically, you know, you'll get a lot more sling when the tire is wet. That's my personal opinion. Some people might argue it, I don't know. But I know that for me, what's worked best is if I wait till the tire is dry or if I actually dry the tire itself, then, you know, I don't necessarily have as much uh, uh, sling with the, tire, with the tire shine. So that's my personal opinion. Other than that, I got my buckets over there. Um, I use this one for, you know, for the uh, for the wheels. Um, then I have two buckets here, all right, that I'll use for the, uh, you guys can see it, right? There's two buckets there, one, you know, two bucket system. I, I will tell you, man, <laughs> with the two bucket system, I don't necessarily really believe in the two bucket system. I do have the two buckets for the car, 
but I don't necessarily believe in the two bucket system only because what makes uh, what I do have I do have in there is the little uh, grate you know that that holds the dirt down right I do use that but in a two bucket system and I, I have done it a couple of times but I don't necessarily really believe in it because if I have two buckets of water right one has the, the shampoo right the car shampoo let's say the other one just has regular clean water when I take this when I take this when I take my little you know uh, uh, microfiber sponge thing that I use right and I dip it into the one that has just clean water in it to rinse it off isn't all the dirt that I have on the car going into that bucket so then when I go and do it again what is keeping you know saying like what is keeping that dirt down other than the grate that I use just like I use for you know the other one so I don't understand what's the difference I'm a common sense guy I'm a logic guy like I said maybe it's just me but either if you have soap in one and then clean water in the other anyway the other one's gonna end up getting clean water too I mean it's gonna end up getting soapy as well right because it's on the sponge or it's on your mitt so at the end of the day once you put that in there and you rinse it it, it, you have soap in there as well and you got the same dirt so when you go in there and rinse it again what <laughs> what's the difference right it, you got dirt in both pretty much so that's just me I don't necessarily use the three bucket system all the time it's just me I know people feel more comfortable with it hey but you know say hey it's on you man so whatever you feel comfortable with doing you know you do you me I don't necessarily do that all the time I might do it once in the blue or whatever but for the most part man I just use one bucket, one bucket, and you know, for the for the body of the car, and one bucket for the uh, you know for the wheels, pretty much. But other than that, man, so that's pretty much all I got for today. Uh, so I will do an actual video of uh, me washing the car and actually talking about the procedures that I go through and everything else, man. Because like I said, I know that's a big topic uh, with this particular car because Christine does stay pretty clean, if I must say so myself. She is actually dirty right now again. I know, I, I know, I always say that. But to me, man, I, I wash Christina be at least three to four times a week. Um, at least I try to. Last week, I didn't wash her because, or, or through the weekend because, um, like I said, I was just down, man. I didn't feel good at all. And then my son had a soccer tournament this weekend. My youngest son had a soccer tournament. So we were, and it was just, you know, it was just a crazy week last week and then weekend. So, uh, so I didn't get a chance to wash her yet. I'm getting ready. The reason why she's sitting right here right now is because I'm getting ready to wash her right now. But I don't got time to go through the whole procedures and all the other good stuff and move the camera around. So this weekend I will get one that I will get I will get a video in of that uh, 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 and then give it to you guys, man. So you guys can actually see the procedures that I go through and everything else of washing the car, man. Other than that, man, I appreciate you guys for checking out the video, checking out the channel, of course. I greatly appreciate everybody who's been checking in and watching and everything else. If, if this is your first time watching, first of all, I want to say thank you very much. Second of all, man, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit that like. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell. If you don't know, man, the way that I mod Christine is by subscriber milestone count, right? Subscriber count. Now, I can never get that right. Subscriber count milestone, milestone, right? So whenever I hit a certain milestone of subscribers, I get another mod on Christine, man. So the next mod or the next uh, 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 milestone is 3,800 subscribers. So as soon as we hit 3,800 subscribers, the next mod is going on Christine, man. So other than that, appreciate you guys for checking out the video again. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And we'll see you guys on the next one, man.